I've been here for six hours, Sandy. Now, where the hell is he? Look, what do you want me to say? Is William Pratt. How am I supposed to make a movie when my leading man is never here? Please, Tanya, just go to your dressing room, relax. He'll be here. <laughs> sure. Maybe in the meantime, you geniuses can figure out a way to shoot the picture without him. OK, here's the thing, Sandy. I checked the hotel well, and his motorhome. He's vanished again. One. What do you, you want to do? All right, that's a wrap. Okay, people, it's a wrap. Let's go. Let's hustle. Close this baby down. Shut it down. Let's go, people. Uh, okay, that's a wrap. Girls, turn in your wardrobe. Thank you. But we haven't shot anything. Easiest 125 bucks you'll ever make. I don't care about the money. I was hoping to get a look at him. Who, Pratt? Yeah, I've seen every movie he ever made. He's incredible. Well, looks aren't everything. Anyway, I'm glad he's temperamental. He get paid for another day. Hey, do you want to grab a beer? The grips are going over to O'Donnell's. Sure. Oh, I forgot my proof on this set. Do you want me to wait? No, it's OK. I'll catch up with you. I just can't believe we're actually working on a William Pratt picture. Yeah. And this rental contract's going to make a big difference in our bank account. Oh, it could be the start of a whole new business for yeah. us. Come on, you guys. He's one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. Well, not to mention one of the most handsome. Romantic. Rich. Famous. Yummy. Mm. So he's rich and handsome and talented. I'm much more interested in how he works as an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a break, Mickey. You're just like every other woman in this country. Daydreaming about him. Drooling over him. I am not. Well, I'm not drooling. <laughs> you sure he's here? He's early. I saw him going to his motor on 20 minutes ago. What are you doing to me? We don't shoot these until Wednesday. It's Wednesday. 
going to drive me nuts. What's with the cops? Why are they still here? They said they'd be finished before we start shooting. Why did she have to die on my set? My insurance is already through the roof. What the hell was she doing there anyway? Uh, she was in there. I don't Look, know what she's doing. shooting. Listen, Todd, I want you to sit on Pratt. If right. I lose one more day, I'm going to hit him with a lawsuit that will curl his hair. Oh, lawsuit. Okay, gotcha. Uh-oh, here comes a dragon lady now. Well, is our wonder boy playing hooky again? No, no, no. My darling, he's getting ready for you now. Come, I was just going to look at the rushes. You look phenomenal. You know that scene that you did yesterday? I Mr. Pratt. Yeah, what is it? We'll be ready for you in a few minutes, sir. I'll be right there, Todd. I said quiet! Okay, roll it. Jack of Diamonds, scene 43, take one. Mark, playback. Action! Perfect. How was that? Beautiful. Are these our props? Yep. Great. Come with me. Okay. Just put the props down here. Hello. I'm Bill Pratt. I'm uh, Mickey Foster. Hi, Ryan Dalian. You're an actress. No, no, I'm just renting props to your movie. <laughs> then you'll be around for a while. Mr. Pratt, we're ready for your close-up police and Foster gear. You should see. I hope we can talk later. Get Geary off my set. I don't do interviews, especially with scum like that. Right, gotcha. You're drooling. Very attractive woman. Somebody I should know about? How'd you get in here? Well, it's good to see you too, Bill. I would have you arrested for breaking and entering. Why so hostile? I'm an honest reporter. Your fans want to know more about you. I have got nothing to say to you. Now, what is the big secret about your past, Bill? I mean, nobody knows anything about the man behind the fame. It's no mystery, Geary. I just like my privacy. Now, get out! Up until three years ago, no one had ever heard of William Pratt. Then suddenly, your big box office. All right. You won't give me an exclusive interview. I'll just have to go on the air with what I already know. You don't know anything. Security! Just one more question. Why would a gorgeous hunk like you go by the name of William Pratt? After all, that was the... Because it's my name. Really? Then who is JWB? <laughs>
you uh, change your mind about the interview, I'll be at the Merriman until tomorrow. You got to the top real fast, Mr. Pratt. Let's just see how long you stay there. Entertainment editor, please. Howie, me. I want a five-minute segment ready to go on William Pratt for tomorrow. Who is it? Perfect. Howie, better make that ten minutes. Bye. I'm in. I'll take care of you later. I'm on. That's it for me. And now for entertainment news, we take Foxwood and our roving reporter, Foster Geary. This is Foster Geary, tearing the tinsel from Tinseltown. You all know this star, but what you don't know is that he dumped his wife seven years ago. The same wife who is now in a mental home. Yes, Dale Miles has made himself a household name playing the dad everybody wishes they'd had on Not Bad for Dad. Wouldn't it just break your heart to learn that the man who's always home when his TV wife and kids need him most never had time for the little lady who kept the home fires burning in his real life abode? The story I've been able to uncover is that dad is a cad. Running around on the missus with a gaggle of starlets who were more than just friends and finally driving poor Mrs. Miles to a widescreen... Get out of here. I told you I'd tip you later. Today she resides in a... Get out of here, I said. You lose your job for this. Get... We do have one kindly phone call. What are you doing? In three years... What do you want? Get out of here. Phone call has never this is not funny. Get out of here now. Now, you may find that acceptable behavior. What do you want here? Miles, Get out. But I find that shocking. Ah! Ah! for you. Wait until you're all alone. I don't understand. What's wrong? You understand. You've been doing some investigating, right, doll? Think you know all about me? <sighs> Let go. Let go. You're hurting me. This is nothing. You tell anybody what you've learned, and I'll show you what real hurting is. Oh, stop it. Stop it! What the hell are you doing? Okay, cut, cut, cut. Let's reset for take 28. Oh, what'd they do? You son of a... You were really squeezing my neck! I was trying to help your acting. Perfect. Perfect. Bill, can I talk to you, please? Bill? Bill? How are you doing? Fine. fine. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, Tanya's having a few problems, though. She's not very good, is she? I mean... I've seen the scene so many times, I practically know the lines myself. Would you come with me, please? Send off. I got a great idea. Look, just bear with me. She should play Tanya's role. What? Are you crazy? Look at her hair. You don't even have to put a wig on her. Bill, the wig was your idea. It's going to take Tanya an hour or two to cool off, right? What have you got to lose? Oh, Mr. Pratt, I really don't think... Are I you know. nuts? The studio would have me deported. In the time we are wasting talking about this, we could have done it. If you don't like it, don't print it going to drive me to the motion picture home. Todd! Yes, sir. Get this girl over to makeup and wardrobe. See if we have something her size. I can't be serious. You can do it. I know you can. Vicky, you give me a hand with this? Vicky? You 
Got the bones, honey. Give me good bones, and I can do anything. Can you do anything for butterflies? <laughs> Don't worry. Pratt believes in you. That's all that counts. Is he always so charming? I've never seen him come on to anyone the way he has to you. I've been on every picture he's made, and I can tell you, honey, that man is an iceberg. Come on. I'm not kidding. You must have something very special. Ooh. I'll take that as a compliment. Mm -hmm. How are we doing? Wardrobe's waiting. She's perfect. She's done. How do you feel? You'll be great. I've never been wrong yet. <laughs> Mr. Pratt, you're looking a little shiny. You could use a touch-up. Sure, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Joanne. I uh, thought you did everybody's makeup. Everybody except Mr. Pratt. Isn't that unusual? Not really. He's got his own makeup case. Says it's his good luck charm. Good luck charm. <laughs> Never lets anybody come near it. All actors have their quirks. <laughs> Excuse me, hon. I gotta get back to the set. Yeah, yeah. I've gotta get back to work, too. This will be a take. Ah! I've been waiting for you. Wait until you were alone. I don't understand. What do you want? You understand. You've been doing some investigating, right, doll? Think you know all about me? Let go of me. You're hurting me. <laughs> this is nothing. You tell anybody what you've learned, and I'll show you what hurting is. Is this all you want? Not all. Okay, cut. Cut, Bill. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, Santo! Is this a star or what? Tell me. Girl's spectacular, isn't she, huh? Great, but it's no good. Tanya just talked to her lawyers. We go with another actress, they're gonna hit us with a major lawsuit. No. I'll go tell her thanks and maybe next picture. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll, uh, I'll tell her in my own way. Mickey, I don't think you should go. Why not? I don't know. I, I just think it'd be a mistake. Why? This guy's William Pratt. He can go out with any woman in the world. Why would he go out with you? Thank you. I didn't mean it that way. I, I just don't think you should go out with a guy until we find out a little bit more about him. Ryan, please don't tell me how to live my life. There's something about him, Mickey. Do you know that every one of his films, someone dies accidentally? I've been checking. In the manifest. Well, no, he's not in the manifest. Oh, brother. what a surprise. Ryan, this might come as a great shock to you, but he's a lot nicer than most people, present company included. Look, there's my cab. I'm gonna go to La Scala and enjoy myself, and I really don't give a damn whether you like it or not. Look, Mickey, Mick Mickey, wait! What was that all about? Mickey's going out with William Pratt. I tried to stop her. Oh. What were you doing the manifest? Just looking. For William Pratt, no wonder Mickey was upset. There's something about him, Jack. I feel it. Mm. Is he listed? You got anything to go on at all? No. Wait a minute. Pratt does his own makeup. He, he's got a, a makeup kit that's some kind of a lucky charm or something. Makeup kit? I've seen something like that. Ah, there. Makeup case once owned by John Wilkes Booth. The actor who shot Lincoln. Hmm. Who did he sell it to? Uh, Jeff Amory, no address. We gotta find him. Yeah, the 
meantime, maybe you better keep an eye on Mickey. Make sure she's never alone with Pratt. And if you see that case... I'll get it. Yeah, and run. Criticize my acting when you win one of these, Mr. Pratt. Tanya Sloan's Ophelia will be remembered as a milestone in the American theater. Top that one, pretty boy. What? It's me, Tanya. What do you want? What would you say if I told you I needed you tonight? What if I said silent movies were coming back? Go to hell. True. You're the only one who can make me look good. You're damn right. You need me. Just try making this picture with that red-headed bimbo. Don't talk about Diana like that. You are nothing but a cheap imitation. Oh, yeah. Nice reading, Tanya. Sincere, heartfelt. You deserve an award for it. <laughs> Where are we? Almost there. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought we were going to La Scala. I hate surprises. Would you care to join me? It's magnificent. Madame. I think I can take care of things from here. It's just like being in the movies. We'll put it in our movie. I'm sorry about today. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I understand. I mean, she does have a contract. Yeah. Here's to our dreams. So, do you... Treat every girl like this on the first date? No. I was waiting for you. Well, gosh, this is what stardom is all about. I could learn to like it. <laughs> it does have its advantages, yes. <laughs> but there also must be a price to pay. I mean, your privacy. Let's just say I had enough privacy to last a lifetime when I was a nobody. What, are you telling me you couldn't get a date? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I've waited a long time to find someone see me for what I am inside. You want to know what I've always dreamed of doing? What? The story of Beauty and the Beast. Except in my version, when Beauty kisses the Beast, he doesn't change. You see, Beauty loves the Beast for what he is, not what he looks like. Right. Love overcomes everything. Yes. Everyone's so obsessed with physical beauty. I just hate the way some people get shut out simply because they don't look right. Yeah, it's 
sounds like a wonderful story. To my leading lady, in the movies and hopefully in life. Time on the mound. Three balls to Andre Dawson. Who's that man behind the desk? Jack! Yeah. How you been? Long time no oh, see. see you, old fire. <laughs> Haven't seen you since I got out of show business, eh? <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Yeah, some things haven't changed. Well, how's business? You're still booking magic acts. What huh? can I say? Whatever they're buying, I'm selling. I got this midget. Could get arrested. Now he's doing a rock video. You figure. You know, I could probably get you a gig. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Sure, go back to uh, being an escape artist at my age. There's a lot more to escape. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Does the name Jeff Amory mean anything to you? Might have been an actor. Can't be sure of that. Yeah, rings a bell. Yeah, he'd have been around oh, a few years back anyway. Yeah, yeah, the geek. Sure, I know who you mean. The hunchback, Dracula's slave, ugly son of a gun. Yeah, here it is, good actor. But all he ever got were bit parts in, uh, in horror movies. Yeah. What happened to him? You want to hear sad? He made a picture with this young actress, Diana Lamb. Do you remember? Nah, probably not. Gorgeous little redhead. She was nice to the guy, spent time with him. Lovers? Who knows? One night, a few years ago, she went up to that place at uh, Evergreen Lake with another guy. What was it called? The uh, hideaway cabins. Amory found out and followed them. And? And he killed the guy with an axe. The poor broad ran away in the dark. Apparently, she slipped and fell off a cliff. The next day, they found Amory holding her dead body in his arms. The poor chump must have snapped. Then what happened to him? He was taken to a mental hospital. For all I know, he's dead. Mind if I keep this picture? What am I going to do? Book him? Take it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a shame. He would have been great in that rock video with the midget. <laughs> hey. Don't let it be so long next time, eh? <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Great. See you. <laughs> Ryan! Ah. What did you find out? Oh, plenty. Where's Mickey? I don't know. She uh, left before I got up. Oh, damn. You look at this. Is this Amory? That's Amory. He was in love with an actress called Diana Lamb. She was a redhead, too. He killed her lover in a fit of jealous rage with an axe. And then he went after her. And you think this could be Pratt? It's possible. It's possible. We've got to get that makeup case. I wonder if he takes it with him or if he leaves it at the studio. Well, let's try the studio. Wait a minute. You stay here, and if Mickey calls, you can warn her. I'll yeah, go. Good point. I don't know. We should be shooting. Stay here. I'll be right back. What the hell is going on, Sandy? Where were you? I called the hotel. They said you weren't there. Why are we shooting? Tanya's dead. Her motorhome blew up. Must have been the propane tank. The police are still investigating. They want to talk to you. The studio is not going to stop production, Sandy. They've got too much money in this thing. They've done it. Sandy, for God's sake, just because of an accident, we've got an actress right here. Accident? That's all we've been having. We've got people dying all over the place. We're shut down, Pratt. It's over. And I'm going back to Europe. No, Sandy. It's not over until William Pratt says it's over. Now, you call the studio and you tell them to read the fine print in my contract. If they shut down, it's them that's finished, not my picture.
Somewhere where no one can find us. Vicky! Flat, where's he going? How the hell would I know? I'm not the same man you went to sleep with. I'm fine. It's just an allergy thing I get now and then. I'm fine. Hey, listen, uh, let's get out of here. I know a great place up by Evergreen Lake. What do you say? Perfect. Mickey! She hasn't been back, Jack. The note we left is still here. Just doesn't like her. She's been gone for 24 hours. We're just gonna have to keep looking. Where, where? We checked his I... hotel or any other place they might be. She hasn't called her friends. Hey, maybe she called here. Hi, it's me. I didn't want you to worry. Bill and I are going up to Evergreen Lake for a few days. Be happy for me. I think I love him. <sighs> Great. Oh, my God. Amory killed Diana Lamb and a lover at hideaway cabins, and that's at Evergreen Lake. Come on. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, nothing. Just this damn allergy. Look, maybe we should go back, huh? Uh, no, no. I'm fine. Yeah, fill her up, will you? Yes, sir. You got a washroom? Yes, sir. It's right over there. It's open. Is that William Pratt? Yeah. Whoa. Is he making a movie around here? Oh, no, no. We're just driving through. Think I could get his autograph? <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh, great. Please. I wonder what's keeping him. You want me to go check, see if he's okay? Would you mind? No, not at all. Okay. Sir. Go away. 
Mr. Pratt, are you all right in there? I'm sorry, I was just getting worried. Oh, I'm fine, fine. Okay. Did you see that kid? He was looking for your autograph. Uh, yeah, yeah. He must have took off. Probably went to sell it. <laughs> You loved it here. <laughs> Would you go check in for us? Sure. Mr. and Mrs. Foster okay? Fine. <laughs> Room number five. Please. Who's Diana? What's going on? You can get with him, but he doesn't love you. I do. Look, I can't see you, Bill. Where are you? He's gone. Why are you doing this? Why are you? Prado, he was so perfect. He loved him because of the way he looked. No, no, I love you for what you are. I don't know who I am. <laughs> Diana, Diana, I'm afraid for us. It's all right. There's no reason to be afraid. Just let me hold you. No, stay away. If you, if you see me now, you'll leave me. No, I'll never do that. Never. Diana, it's me, Jeff. Jeff. Jeff Amory. Stop it. Stop hiding. Let me see you. <laughs> you said there's nothing to be afraid of, Diana. You said you wanted to hold me. Oh, let me go. Why do you want to go? You lied to me. You said you loved me. You said you loved me! Cabin! 
Wake the manager. You made me hope. You made me think that I could love someone and be loved for what I am inside. And then you came here with him. Why then? Please. No, Diane. Whoever she was, whatever she did was hard. Would you? All right. That was a very brave thing that you did, Mickey. What's going to happen to him now? They'll put him someplace where he'll never get out. for him anyway. He's a murderer. Maybe because you saw him. I mean, really saw him. Jack, he was so alone. All he wanted was to be loved for who he was, not what he looked like. I think we all have a little bit of that in us. Maybe that's why he chose such a simple name as William Pratt. No, Mickey, I think that was something else. I once met a great actor who made his name by playing monsters and ghouls, and yet he was the gentlest, he was the kindest man I ever met. Who? Boris Karloff. But his real name was William Pratt. 